mad scientist of everything hip hop and wrestling back at it uh, been a while since I did a video here um, wanted to throw down some different things I want to do here before I get this video going um, I've noticed and a lot of other people have noticed that these videos these copper drop videos that I do go extremely long because um, there's a lot of music I listen to through the month that I review um, so what I've decided to do is still keep you know everything that you should cop and everything you should you know drop in the you know um, and down there in the section below but what I'm going to do is I'm only going to talk about the top 10 best and top 10 worst albums of the month try to cut it down make this um, make this video under 20 minutes for more you know people to keep track of so um, you know my top 10 worst top 10 best of the month um, just like you know normal just gonna do 10 for each make it easier everything else in the section below if you want to ask me about anything else that I did not talk about here just message me I'll let you know um, if it's you know anything worth a damn or still sucks or whatever so I'm gonna do here start off with the drops like always I'm gonna go with number 10 here um, and that's Prodigy the Bumpy Johnson album um, I don't know what it was about this album I just did not like it I think it was probably because I don't know the production I just I wasn't feeling it I don't know if it was it just felt like real boring like somber almost like it was just there was no um that's the word I'm thinking of really just just any just oomph in it like there was no like it just felt like it was just him just rhyming over just like recycled like 90s beats there was no I don't know, even care really thrown into it um I mean Lyrically, Prodigy is great, but I mean, it just it just did nothing for me. Um, kind of disappointing, you know. I do like Prodigy from Mob Deep, but you know, didn't do nothing. Uh, next, we got Chris Webby, Bars on Me mixtape that was floating around a lot during October. Checked it out. Um, it had maybe two tracks on it that I really uh, enjoyed. Um, the rest of it was kind of um, what you would expect, kind of that mainstream type sound. Um, you know, really other than two solid bangers, which I can't seem to think of off the top of my head right now. Um, yeah, I mean, it just was one of those just mainstream type mixtapes. Just, you know, this or that kind of deal. So, okay there. Next we got... Oh my god. Shine Gangland. This was horrendous. This was so bad. Um... I never really listened to Shine that much, and uh, from what I've heard from him before to this album, I legit thought this was a different person. Um, he dropped his voice, made it really deep, almost sounds like uh, Rick Ross, except like really retarded, like really like full blown retarded Rick Ross. Um, it just, I almost couldn't just, 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 my mind just could not just like contain just the amount of just ridiculous just his voice was I just I can't even say that correctly just how bad that was um yeah I just I could not just sustain the words in my brain because it just it just his voice was just so bad um just don't even don't even waste your time on that um next we got DJ drama quality street music I just ah, just you know DJ a, a DJ drama uh produced track on you know another album another you know like a guy on future or, you know walk a flock or any of those type of guys you know GZ any any of those guys he's you know he's worked with you know a couple tracks on the album that's fine but every track produced by DJ drama his production sounds so the same like it's just it's all the same and it's just it's just almost a bothersome like the you know the hooks and, and, and everything are you know okay whatever so you have some okay songs but overall just it, it sounds like every song is just like just mixed together and it's just it's uh, just didn't work for me um there might have been two tracks on here that i may listen to again but overall just just wasn't working for me next we got sky zoo a dream deferred i wanted i really really wanted to put this on the cop but i just if this was a mixtape and this was free maybe i'd say to cop it but I just don't think I'll pay money for this. And, and again, another thing, just the production. I just was not feeling the production on this album. Um, you know, Sky Zoo as an MC is great. Um, I loved a lot of the stuff he's done previously, but 
I mean, this just, uh, I just, just didn't feel the production. It just was like his rhyming just way outshined it. And it was, the hooks were just not good either. It just, just, Skies is one of those guys, and I'm going to go back to this with other guys too. Um, great lyricist, just like Prodigy. Um, you know, same thing. It's just, they don't make good, they just don't make that many great songs. Um, they, they rhyme really well, but song quality wise, it just, just doesn't do nothing for me. Um, next we got Tech Nine's Boiling Point EP. Um, I don't know what's going on with, you know, Tech Nine, um, just falling off with some of these, these EPs that he's dropping over the year, uh, this year. I, I haven't cared for a lot of the things he's been doing lately. This was just way too dark for me. Just way, way too dark. Um, just, I legitimately didn't care for any of the tracks. Um, Tech Nine, you know, usually the way his rhyme style is just so outrageous and, ran, you know, random. Um, he makes things work, but this to me is just almost hard to listen to because it's just so dark. Like, I just feel like I just depressed listening to it. So, I mean, if you like Tech Nine, I'm sure you'll pick it up, but it's eh, it's alright. Next we got Gucci Mane, Trap God. Um, you know what, I always come on here and I give Gucci Mane lots of credit for dropping, you know, mixtape after mixtape, um, putting in work, making lots of songs, um, I've always thought Gucci was a whack rapper, he's, you know, a whack person probably in general, but, you know, sometimes he makes some really, and I, and I can't lie about that, I can't lie and say, um, I, I don't like some of his songs, because I do, I like several Gucci Mane songs, but, as you know an overall lyricist and a song songwriter and you know overall quality it just it gets to a point where you make so many mixtapes it's just you're just not doing that great anymore you're just not making that much great stuff um that's pretty much what it was here with gucci Mane. this by far is one of the worst gucci Mane mixtapes i've heard maybe ever um this was not good at all um there wasn't maybe but one banger on here i liked other than that, I just did not care for this whatsoever. Um, number three, we got Yo Gotti with Cocaine Music 7. And I guess the world is yours, I guess is what the tagline on it is. Um, and another another thing, just along with Gucci, one of the worst mixtapes I think I've heard from Yo Gotti is another guy who puts in a lot of work um, with a lot of you know, trap style music he you know makes. But... Um, this may have had a couple more, you know, songs on it than Gucci's that I, that I like, but still, I just was not feeling this. Um, you know, I'm a wide range of variety hip hop, you know, listener, and uh, you know, I I don't mind, you know, that trap style, you know, ratchet style rap, you know, rap music. I can listen to it like it doesn't bother me, but there's a difference between you know tolerable and just downright horrible. And some of the, some of the stuff on here on, on Gucci and Yogati's mixtapes this month were just were just downright horrible. Um, so that's why I got it on there. And then uh, let's see, we roll into number two here. MGK Machine Gun Kelly's Lace Up. Um, this was terrible. I did not like maybe but one track on here. Um, I can't even remember what it was. What I do maybe I don't know. Um, Machine Gun Kelly dropped a mixtape. Um, I believe a month before this, and I actually really enjoyed it. Like I, I was really uh, behind it. I uh, definitely liked several tracks on it. Uh, it was a pretty good, uh, pretty solid mixtape. Then this album drops. Obviously, this happened. Same thing happened with Slaughterhouse. Um, they dropped a you know, an, a mixtape a month before, and then they dropped their album. And the mixtape just blew their album away. Same thing with this. This this album was just terrible. I didn't like any of it really except for maybe one track so if you like machine gun kelly sorry everybody but uh this sucked <laughs> uh and then finally number one meek mill dreams and nightmares um just 100 percent lost faith in just meek mill over the last year i i just uh, there's just i didn't care for anything like on this again maybe one track the rest of this I just was not fucking with it at all. Hated it. Um, and just continued to get worse and worse and worse um, throughout the throughout the year. I mean, I'm sure I'll check out some of his stuff. There's, you know, on every mixtape or album, there's usually a couple bangers that I may put in rotation on my iPod or something like that, but just wasn't feeling it. 
So, jump over to the cops. Here we go. Cop number number 10. Journalist 103 reporting live. Um, no Journalist 103 um, from a couple, I believe, um, 90s albums uh, way back. And then he jumped on with The Left. Um, you know, I believe is him, Guilty Simpson, and then Apollo Brown's production, um, The Left album, Gas Mask, a couple of years ago. I absolutely love. So I figured I would definitely check this out. This was great. This was a lot of um, not not really too many songs. It's just um, a couple two minute you know little ditties where he rhymes and um, have some pretty solid production on it. Um, it's definitely worth checking out. Support Journalist 103 here. Um, hopefully even get another left uh, left album uh, with Apollo Brown. I love Apollo Brown's production. It's so fantastic. So um, but yeah you know check this out. Journalist 103 reporting live. Pretty pretty solid project. Number nine, we got uh, Cabin Fever Two Wiz Khalifa. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been I've been uh, been on Wiz Khalifa's junk for a while. Uh, I just I just feel his, you know, I just dig his style. I dig his uh, his, his the style of hit bangers he makes. I always my go to uh, tracks when I'm rolling around in my car or whatever. Just you know, just bangers I want to listen to or just you know chilling out or just usually Wiz Khalifa songs um and there's no different here with Cabin Fever there's several uh bangers on here that I was really feeling um free mixtape check it out Cabin Fever good project uh at least to those who who feel that style that's that's pretty good it's pretty good in my opinion then we got uh Vinny Paz God of the Serengeti um not huge on uh, this style of hip-hop music but I definitely dug several tracks on this um definitely dug several tracks on this was, this was pretty good um i i was um kind of leery about checking it out because i just i really am just i don't dig the the, the army of the pharaohs kind of sound and the production is just really um kind of the same a lot of it's the same and there were several tracks on here where the production sounded um really the same as a lot of other stuff and he has he doesn't really jump out of his comfort zone which i guess works for him and that's why he has you know several fans on the underground but Good project here, um, definitely a good Vinny Paz project, and uh, a lot of a lot of people out there will, I believe, check this out um, if you're a fan of him. Next we got Seven, Cassius, The Art of Dying. Um, you know I haven't heard Cassius in years. Back, I mean, since he was back with on, I believe Shady, Shady Records with um, Fifty, and they were doing that kind of where um, uh, June it kind of split up and was doing their you know own thing and then Cassius kind of jumped in there with um, Eminem's label I guess it worked didn't work out got out of there whatever it was um, if you're looking for uh, if you like that Yo Gotti uh, Gucci sound you know if you weren't you know if you were definitely feeling CM7 or Trap God um, I would definitely say check out this um, Cassius The Art of Dying I think it's it's that kind of style it's that ratchet kind of trapped style almost um that you that you know a lot of you know fans out there like nowadays um except uh, by far way way better song quality uh production um hooks were a lot better than than you know anything on the the gucci or um you know even meek mill or yo Gotti album stuff that came out this month uh definitely a kind of a shining light in the the uh, that style of hip-hop music um i would say um, pretty enjoyable. There's several tracks on here I liked. Um, they were just, you know, just just cool bangers. I uh, definitely rolled with. So definitely check that out if you're a fan of that style. Uh, pretty good stuff there. Then we got um, Exhibit Napalm. I think a lot of people weren't feeling this as much as I was, but I, I really dug this. I really there was several tracks on here I was I was digging. I I liked a lot of the production. Um, I definitely digged it. I, I like Exhibit's, like, voice. I think it's Exhibit, um, over a lot of, like, just the right production, but, I mean, is great, but Exhibit's just voice rapping is, to me, is just, it's almost, like, mesmerizing. Um, I don't know if anybody gets the other, the same feel as that, uh, but I definitely, um, I was feeling this, uh, Exhibit Napalm album here a lot more than I think a lot of other people were. I was, uh, reading reviews and different things. People were not feeling it as much as me, but it is what it is. Next we got the Joker Trail of Des Trail of Destruction. Um, this is the not T H A Joker. This is T H E J O K E R R. 
so get that through to you guys. Heard a lot of uh, stuff going on about this. Um, you know, several people say, hey, check this out on, you know, forums and different things like that. So, uh, you know, looked it up, hit it up, and, um, you know, this is this is a great, a great project here. And the reason I like it so much is, is nobody's doing this. Nobody's doing this kind of album or mixtape. Um, and it was so interesting. Um, I, I loved several tracks on here, even though there was quite a few guys I've never, you know, heard that he was dissing on. Um, but the main idea behind this is every track on this was a diss track. All he did was diss people. He dissed Strange Music. He dissed um, Hobson. He dissed, um, uh, uh, who did he, who else he dissed? Um, the Joker, like the one, you know, TH Joker. Um, several other people. He, you know, ICP. You know, he, he dissed a whole bunch of people, and the tracks were good. Um, they weren't just diss tracks where he's just rapping over and just, you know, sh you know shitting on people. The songs were good. Um, and, and I definitely think this is a um, really good project and something I'm going to look back on in, through the year and, and um, see where this fits into a top 30 because I think it definitely deserves it, and this guy definitely deserves um, some credit because this was a really good concept, and, and it was, you know, I think it was true to what he was wanting to do. And... Um, I was feeling it, feeling it heavily. Um, so Joker, Trail Destruction, great stuff right there. Next we got Zion Eye, Shadowboxing. Um, along with this and the next album I'm going to talk about, um, the one, one main thing I want to talk about is, is I feel like this is almost, um, almost like a mainstream type sound for the underground. I think it's a mainstream that works. Because you know, there's a lot of mainstream hip hop music that just people are just like, that's horrible. Zion Eye, Shadowboxing here was was great. Human Being was was a track that I don't think I would have liked if it wasn't Zion Eye and it wasn't the production that they used. I think I would have hated it if somebody else tried to do that track. Um, Human Being it w was a track on here that's it's almost like a party type banger, um, and it and it's so good. It's really really good and catchy. Um, I, d I could hear it on the radio tomorrow and I wouldn't be mad. Like I I, I actually really really like it. Um, this overall had several great tracks on it. The production was great. Zion Eyes, fantastic production. The stuff, some of the stuff they had with um, Grouch on here was great. Um, just overall, this is this is a great project from from um, from Zion Eyes, Shadowboxing here, and uh, this may fit in somewhere into my top 30. I could definitely see that. Uh, number three, we got here Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, The Heist. Same thing. Same thing with Zion Eye. Just mainstream music done right. Um, it's still got that underground flair to it, but, you know, subject matter is, is out, outstanding. Subject matter is fantastic with Macklemore. His voice works so great, great over Ryan Lewis. Um, just so many great tracks on here. There's a couple that, you know, were eh, iffy, but overall, this, this, this album was, was great, and I can definitely see this making it into my top list. Um, good project, really good project here from Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. I uh, hope to see some more stuff from them. I was really digging it. Number two, very surprising uh, mixtape here. Took me completely by surprise, and I am just been just just in rotation heavily with this mixtape. That's Chewy Wild Style mixtape um, here. Um, I heard a lot of the, uh, stuff about this guy several times. Just never really checked out any of his stuff. Finally found this, uh, got this mixtape that was getting uh, getting some buzz, and it was definitely I uh, wanted to check it out. Oh, there's several tracks on here. I was feeling just heavy. Um, I'm a huge fan of the the New York hip hop sound. Um, I'm a huge fan of Brooklyn. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of uh, you know the West Coast sound very much. Like I like some of it, but it it's, it doesn't hit me like you know the New York um, Brooklyn you know kind of hip hop music. You know I really dig Big L and 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 some of that older stuff and, and Biggie and stuff like that. I really feel that, and this really felt like. A real New York City style hip hop mixtape. Um, almost reminded me of just like Joey Badass's 1999. This guy has a little bit more seasoning on him than Joey Badass, and I uh, think that might be why it may be like this a little bit more than his 90, uh, Joey Badass's 99 album. But there, this was just this was great. This was a really great project from Chewy, and I, and I definitely can't wait to see what else he's gonna do. Um, after I downloaded this and listened to it several times, I went and downloaded it. A bunch of other stuff that he did um, and been listening to a lot of his stuff for the last several weeks so Chewy Wildstorm this mixtape definitely picked this up 
great mixtape if you if you dig if you definitely dig the New York hip hop sound you're gonna feel this the East Coast uh, sound right there. Then finally, I mean you know you can't you just you can't go um, out of uh, October without speaking about this uh, Kendrick Lamar Good Kid Mad City um, just wow this is this is on par or if not better than Section 80 uh, which you know I felt like was a, a close best. Uh, album last year this is going to be man it's going to be hard to 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 my top five albums this year is going to be just it's going to be so hard i really don't know where i'm going to put what it's it's going to be a mess but um kendrick lamar good good kid mad city one of the best albums of the year just there's just no there's no going around it it's that good um just all the tracks are so good and you know just there's really nothing you can say. You just you have to listen to it. If you're a hip hop fan, you should listen to it. If you're not a hip hop fan, you should listen to it. Um, even you know friends I have who don't listen to hip hop music, I've been trying to get into them. Like, listen, you have to hear this. This is this is such a good album. Um, not just hip hop, just in general. I could see this being not just the best hip hop album, the best album of the year. Period. Out of everything, that's how good I think this is. So it's it's really really hard um, because I have a lot of personal favorites this year. So we got you know November and December, and we're gonna see where you know some of these albums fit into place. But right now it's it's a hard pull. Kendrick Lamar is uh is up definitely in that top spot right now. So thanks guys for following along. Topper drop here for October November coming up. Sorry it took me uh, about a week to get you know get this in here. Had to finish up um, some you know albums, listening to different things. So. I am going to get out of here. I am the mad scientist of all things hip-hop and wrestling. Deuces.